Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in all of the mod six to the sky with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, though, we did not do anything from the quest book. What we did is we got ourselves some passive mobs in our world. You can see I've got some cows, some chickens, some pigs, and some sheep behind me. I've got them all in an entity cramming area, but we had to use ourselves some animal bait to get them into our world. Now, the reason we did that, and it was mainly the cows that we needed, but we need a bunch of leather. We need the leather so we can make ourselves some books. We need the books so we can make ourselves some bookcases. And we need the bookcases so we can do some enchanting in our world, mainly so we can upgrade our you know pedestal mods machines that we got going in the background you can see that wood farm way in the back i do not have enough range on those uh, harvesters that are you know is going to make this thing super super effective same thing with the collection items as well they're just not as efficient as i would like them to be so to improve that we're going to need to enchant them to make them a little bit better now, we've already done step one. We've gotten some leather in our world. That is the cows behind me with the entity cramming. What we need to do is work on step two. That is going to be getting some paper into our world. To get paper, we're going to need a bunch of sugarcane. So we might as well set ourselves a automatic sugarcane farm. Now, I've got a little bit of an area here set up very, very similar to the farms that I did over here in the past, but it's not going to be quite the same. That is because sugarcane, and while we're at it, we're going to do the cactus because they are very, very similar. They are not handled in the same way that plants like, you know, carrots and potatoes and wheat are handled. Instead, they're handled more like a block would be. And I've actually got some sugarcane in my world. I got sugarcane seeds by sifting uh, dirt through a, pretty much any mesh. I haven't got any of the cactus yet. So, so we are going to have to do a little bit of sifting here in a moment. But while I was getting this all set up, it looks like I was able to get two more pieces of sugarcane. So to make this simple... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go plant one. I'm going to keep one in hand just more, just in case we get an opportunity to do a demonstration that's not going to be natural because these do grow very, very slowly. And because I can only really get five or six, five of the cactus, six of the sugar cane. I've got them both set up the same way just for simplicity's sake, but I can't use the same amount of area that I do did with the farm. That farm is three by three. That's pretty much the most I can get without upgrading those pedestal upgrades. Same thing here. This could be six. I could put the sugar cane and, you know, water down the middle. That would work as well. But again, I kept these two platforms the same. What I did change from this farm compared to those farms over there is that I am using the photo soil uh, dirt here. Now, this is a slightly improved dirt. It should help these things grow a little bit quicker. But as far as I can tell, there's no snad in this pack. Now, snad is a type of sand that's in a lot of uh, skyblock packs where if you give it a redstone signal, it greatly in, you know, increases the growth rate of sugarcane and cactus. But again, I don't see it in this pack and I don't see anything in this pack that's similar to it. So I thought we'd do the photo soil. It is actually very, very simple to make. To make the photo soil, first off, we're gonna need some photo grow. To make photo grow, it is sand two pieces of appetite and the niter. The appetite and the niter are things that we've been getting from sifting uh, gravel. We've actually got quite a bit of it in our storage area over there. Just stuff that's been coming up when we've been doing some other sifting. Sand is something we got to do by breaking down uh, cobblestone into gravel and then gravel into sand. Now to make the photo soil, we got to go back into a crafting table. You're going to make a T of the photo grow. Now I've got eight from that recipe, so I'm going to be basically making two recipes out of this. Charcoal goes around the corner, so four charcoal, four photo grow, and then one piece of dirt in the middle will get you one photo soil. Again, because I got eight of that photo grow, I'm going to be doing two here at a time. And then we're just going to go add these last two blocks over here to what is going to be our cactus farm. Now, our next step is we're going to have to get some of the seeds into our world. Like I said before, you get that by sifting dirt through any of the meshes. I've already got sugar cane. That's not going to be a problem. Cactus is only about a point, only about a 5% drop rate from here. So I'll be lucky if, you know, with almost a stack of dirt, I'll be lucky if I get you know, one or two of them. And the same thing with the sugar cane. I kind of hope I'll be getting some more, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. So let's go do this speed run and start. All 
Alright, so you know what? That actually worked out quite a bit better than I thought. I got three cactus seeds and four sugarcane seeds out of that. Way, way better than the limited testing that I was doing uh, earlier on, just to make sure my, you know, the whole process was going to work for me. So that is awesome. That is really, really good. We did get a bunch of other seeds as well. Let's just go clean this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and let's go plant our cactus seeds. And then over here, I'm going to go break that, break that. That's because these are already, you know, fully full bits of sugar cane, I guess. And we're going to go one, two, three, and then four. And that's absolutely perfect. So these guys are now free to grow. These guys over here, I got to let them grow up at least one more uh, before I can go plant some more in the corner. Now, like I said before, to do the sugarcane and the cactus, we cannot use the same pedestal upgrades. The harvester upgrade will not work on the sugarcane and the cactus. Instead, what we need to do is build ourselves a block miner type of upgrade. Now, for the setup that I've got here, I'm going to need about five pedestals. You could change this up in that this is all sugarcane, in which case you would only need three. Uh, because I've got the extra cactus in that, I kind of want to add, you know, a separate storage system for that one as well. So we're going to need one more pedestal to build a pedestal. It is two stone slabs, four stone blocks, and that linking tool. We'll take the pedestal out and we'll take the linking tool out because it does not come with us and we will need it later on. We are also going to need some blank pedestal upgrades. To make a blank pedestal upgrade, it is the linking tool in the crafting table with a gold ingot. That gets you one pedestal upgrade base. Again, take your linking tool out. If you leave it behind, you're likely to forget where you've left it. Now, before we can go place this, we're going to want to build ourselves the upgrade for mining the blocks. In the pedestal mod, there is this pedestal upgrade block breaker upgrade. Now, you can look right here. You can see the breaker range is one. That's actually not going to be very good for us. That's only going to break the block immediately underneath the pedestal, which is good if that's the sort of thing you're doing. If you're making some sort of like uh, almost vanilla cobblestone generator, you could certainly use this where your lava and your water meet together. And then you use this uh, pedestal to basically break that block and collect it. But that's not what we want to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take that upgrade. We're going to go put it back into the crafting table that changes it into a quarry upgrade. Now, if we hit you on that, go over to our information tab. This is an AOE block breaker. It requires no fuel, but is incredibly slow. By default, it will mine all blocks in its work area. Enchanting it with magnet will allow it to suck up any items in the work area. So this is the block that we want. One other thing to take a look at, it's got an effective area of three by eight by three, which is absolutely perfect. This sort of setup here is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as long as I place the pedestal in this spot right here, it's going to go and reach all the way down to the end, which is absolutely perfect. Because I'm mixing sugarcane and cactus, I do have a little bit of a problem. You can't put any blocks right next to the cactus, but I do want a little bit of a barrier in between so I don't get drops sort of mixing up and getting picked up by the wrong pedestal. So I've built this one out one extra block and when I do encase it, it is going to be, you know, a little bit bigger than what I do for the sugar cane. To make it as efficient as possible, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the collection area when I get to, you know, actually get to do some upgrades in this world by enchanting. As far as placing the pedestal goes, what we need to do is get up on top here. If I was to place the pedestal right here, I would have a problem it would break everything in a three by three area around it. So if I was to place it on the front here, we've got that problem because that area around the pedestal that's going to get mined. What we need to do is we need to bump this up by two spots. So if we go one, again, if I was to place it right here with one space below it, the source blocks for the sugar cane and the cactus are going to get broken. We do not want that. To do a proper farm, we got to go up one more so that it will not affect those blocks right down below. We click on there. So we've got that space and then a harvestable area and then a harvestable area and then a third harvestable area, basically this level up above it. It's a little bit hard to visualize. I wish there was a way like with the cyclic mod where it would show that actual working area to make it a lot easier to kind of explain what's going on. But you see, I'm getting a bunch of sugar cane growing up here, which is absolutely perfect. I won't need these three to, for the little bit of a demonstration. 
Pedestal upgrade. We're going to go take that quarry upgrade. We're going to put it in our offhand. This is how you add stuff to the pedestal mod. It is a little bit confusing. It's the thing that probably caused me the most problems early on. So I'm going to go and stress it pretty much every time we do that. In the offhand, right click. There you go. It is now affecting these blocks. We can just sort of watch here for a bit. There you go. It broke that one over there. And it's probably going to start back down here, break this one here in a second. Oh no, actually looks looks like it's coming back this way. There you go. So as you can see, it is mining slowly back and forth, and then it's going to go back out again and come back down and break these blocks. There is there are enchantments that will speed this up as well, uh, but until we get to that point, we won't be able to do anything about that. Let's go collect these guys up. Let's go plant these two cactuses. Well, actually, only one cactus survived, huh? Problem with the cactus is if it falls into itself, it ends up, you know, basically disappearing, which is disappointing, but it's something we're going to have to deal with. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, I'm going to encase, encase these all in glass. This block binder will mine blocks and glass is a block. So if I was to place one, two here, if we give this a second, there you go. That block miner breaks that glass. Now, this is definitely something that we do not want, but it is something that we can actually fix. If we were to create ourselves a blacklist filter and apply it to that pedestal, it'll basically tell it what blocks not to break. So you can build this out of any block you want. You can even build it out of cactus if you want, if you tell it not to break the cactus. So to build a blacklist filter, this is something I don't believe we've done before. We first need to build ourselves a filter. Now it defaults to a whitelist filter. So to make a filter, it is eight sticks surrounding the filter swapper. It's something we built a little while ago. Now I've got two more filters here. I'm going to leave them there for the moment. Now this is just a filter base. We can't actually do anything with it. To make it an item filter, we got to add a piece of wool to it. So again, I've got some wool set up for some of the other ones, but we're going to go take that whitelist filter out and we can now program it with items. So I've got this chest over here. Actually, this one is full of stuff. I actually meant to fill up this chest. This should work fine though. I'm going to take one piece of glass. I'm going to put it into this chest and then I'm going to shift, right click that chest. You see it kind of went down, open it up. It is now items in the filter is glass. Now this is a whitelist. That means if we were to apply this to that pedestal, it would only break glass. We don't want that. So pointing at the air, I'm going to go shift, right click. You see it actually changed color. It is now a black list. We take this black list. We can go up, put it into our offhand, apply it to the pedestal. And now we come back over here we can go start placing glass all the way around here. All right, so now any drops of sugar cane, I will, I'll do the cactus a little bit later. I'm gonna make myself a little bit more glass. Any drops of the sugar cane though are gonna get trapped in that little box. What we need to do now is we need to make ourselves a item collector pedestal. That's why I've got this one down here. To make an item collector pedestal, we're gonna need a item magnet upgrade. To make an item magnet upgrade, it is a block of iron, a block of redstone, and a upgrade pedestal base. I'm gonna make two of them because we're gonna want one over here as well. So again, we're gonna go put that into our offhand. We're gonna go and right click it on, and then we might as well do this one over here as well. That means that any items that fall within this area, which is, again is a three by three by three area. So it actually takes the spots just up above. We'll get picked up by that pedestal. It's hard to tell, but you can actually see the sugar cane floating on top there. Now, if I didn't have a block right here, you'd be able to see it quite easily, but that's not a problem. What we want to do now is we want to set this over to a separate storage. To do that, we are going to need our linking tool, which I've already got in my hand. I'm going to go shift right click with the linking tool on the destination pedestal. Then we're going to go come up to the pedestal that we want it to come from. And then we're going to go click shift, right click on that. You can see all that sugar gate cane is getting pushed over into that pedestal. Same thing over here, except I don't have any extra cactus in here to test this with. So it's going to be the exact same thing here. Cactus is going to drop. It's going to get picked up by that pedestal. What we're going to do is we're going to go shift, right click on that, and then shift, right click on that. It is now linked proper. We can actually go test that. It gets picked up. It go pushes it over here. 
Now, the last thing I want is this thing to pick up something that we don't want it to pick up. So if this one picked up a piece of cactus, it's going to get basically gum up the system. Same thing over there. If this one picked up a piece of sugar cane, or if I was doing some work in the area and, you know, say I dropped a piece of glass, it's going to pick it up and it's going to basically gum up the system because it's not going to have any place to send it. So what we want to do is we want to craft, craft ourselves a couple more filters for that. Again, to make a filter, it is eight sticks in a circle around your filter swapper. I'm going to take that filter swapper out because we are done with it. We're now going to take those blank filter white lists. We're going to add a piece of white wool that's going to make them an item filter. We're going to take the, both of those out. We're going to come back over here. Now I'm going to take the glass out because that is not uh, what we wanted to pick up. We wanted to pick up a piece of sugar cane. Actually, I got two there. Don't want that. And we're going to need a piece of uh, cactus. Now, are we lucky? Not really lucky yet. Which one's that? 66, 40, 93, 86. Let's take the one that's the furthest away. Oh, I got lucky that got picked up. <laughs> so we're going to pick that one up there. Put it into the chest. We're going to go put the sugar cane in first. We're going to go take the first filter, shift, right click. That is now sugar cane pedestal. That's now items and filter sugar cane. We're going to go take the sugar cane out. We're going to put in the cactus. Shift right click with the other filter. It is now a cactus item filter. So this will only allow those items in the filter to get picked up. So we'll go put that into our offhand. This was the cactus one. Right click on that. Same thing over here. We're going to take the sugarcane one into our offhand. Right click on that. Now, if I take this piece of cactus, if I throw it down there, it's not getting picked up by that uh, uh, item collector. Let's see if we can throw it a little bit further. No, see, it will not pick it up at all. That's exactly what we want. But if we come over here, this guy over here, totally will pick it up and then send it over here. And actually it looks like we've got another cactus over here, which is nice. Put that one back, grab one, put that, that. This is now our, you know, fully functional sugarcane and cactus farm. One last thing we want to do here is from previous experience, a base pedestal is good for storage, but it's only stores up to a stack. We want way more than a stack of all of these items in here. So to do that, what we got to do is make ourselves a item tank upgrade. To make an item tank upgrade it is a blank uh, upgrade base and a chest in a crafting table. We're going to want two of these. Again, we're going to throw them in our offhand, place it on there, place it on there. Now there's quite a bit more storage. If these are enchanted, you can actually get these up to like 2 billion items uh, of storage, which is really, really cool. But I don't know what the, the base amount is. Uh, not that it really matters. It's going to be quite a bit more than what we're going to have to deal with, uh, you know, anytime soon. So I will encase this in glass a little bit in the future. But for now, I think this is done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi. As well, there'll be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good...